It is time for the first system test of the ADT Unimode 10UD. Let's get started. So as you can probably tell, this system is so extremely huge. So I want to take a few minutes to go ahead and show you all the devices on this system and maybe share some of the features of them. Let's start with the panel of this system. So this board is very tall. And one of the things I really like is the LCD on the panel is a, just a little bit taller than eye height for me. So this adds an element of reality, which I really like. So let's go ahead and take a look inside here. So this is the main circuit board of the panel. The LCD currently says new system test one, SER safety. So you know how I'd let people request a message for the LCD screen? I would definitely love to bring that back. So if you have a little phrase or saying or a word you would like to be seen on this LCD, then leave a request in the comments down below. So I'd like to point out the wiring on this system. Yes, I did wire this all by myself. And as you can see, just about every terminal is being used. So that means this panel is going to be used to almost its full capability. Right here is a notification appliance spot for this system. Currently, the notification appliance in it is a Wheelock AS, the horn and the strobe are on. And I'd like to point out that this is being powered by both NAC1 and NAC2. So if I wanted to, I could install a four wire device and have audible silence. And then also right across from the first notification appliance I just showed you is the second one right here. Currently up in the second notification appliance spot is, again, another Wheelock AS. However, the strobe is only on, not the horn, just the strobe. So below that, we have our Firelight ANN80 Annunciator. With this, you can control most of the basic functions of the fire alarm control panel from here. To the left of the Annunciator, we have two spots for a smoke detector and slash or a heat detector. Right now, this is the smoke detector and this is the heat detector. Right below the smoke and heat detector, we have a spot for two pole stations. Here are the models of the ones currently up. To the right of those pole stations, I have the simplex key switch. This is currently programmed into the panel as a drill switch. And to the right of all of this, we have this first alert fire extinguisher here. This is just currently on the board for show. Now under the pole station closest to the panel, we have this STI emergency pole station. As we can see here, I've put the letters alert to it, and that's because it goes to the... This EST Amber Alert Genesis. This is set on 15 candela, and yes, this is a horn strobe. I took the horn strobe out of one of my other EST Genesises and replaced the strobe with the horn strobe in this. Now to the right of the emergency push station, I have the system sensor key switch. The panel is currently programmed to think this is a reset switch. I am aware that this is a duct detector key switch, but I did want a reset switch on the system, so this is what I'm using. Then to the right of the key switch, I have this blue global fire control pull station. This is going to the... This little siren kind of thing. If you haven't seen the video I did on this, the link will obviously be in the description. And also, you might notice that the top of the fire alarm panel is decorated with some firefighting gadgets. Now underneath the system sensor key switch and the blue global fire control pole station, I have this SL-2000-N duct detector. As we see right here, we have a single gang back box and a piece of conduit. Now, duct detectors are meant to be mounted on an air duct. So there's no way you can really run the wires through an air duct to get to the duct detector. So therefore, I cannot run the wires directly into it from behind the board. So I just opened up the cover to the duct detector and the single gang back box. As we can see, the wires are all wired in here. They go up through this, go through this piece of conduit, come out in the single gang back box, and then go behind the board from there. Also, hooked up to the duct detector and below this panel, I have this duct detector key switch. If you'd like to learn a lot more about what a duct detector is, or a duct detector key switch, or both, I very strongly, highly recommend you go check out the video I did about them. To the left of the duct detector, we have these three Gentex smoke alarms. These are not hooked up to the panel, and these will be used in a different series. 
Also below the panel, we have the duct detector key switch, as you've already seen. And then we also have a pair of Tectone emergency pull stations. So what these are meant for is a nurse call system. As you can see, one has a pull cord and one doesn't. These are hooked up to this medical alert corridor light. And that is the entire system. Yeah, it is pretty huge. Um, I am extremely proud of myself for doing this all because I was the one that installed this whole thing. I put, in, I put in all the back boxes, I wired it all up, and I did it without frying the panel this time. So I'm very ha happy with myself. <laughs> And then also, just giving a little bit more information about the emergency push station, the tornado pull station, and then the pull cords for the medical alerts. Yes, that is all hooked in through the panel. Those aren't separate circuits. All of it is hooked in through the panel through the relays. Alright, it is time to get started with the test. So first, we will pull the ADT pull station. Here we go. In three, two, one. And as we can see, we have two wire audible silence, which I think is pretty cool. And we can go ahead and pull the server's Pyrotronics MS-151. Here we go. So now I'm going to test either the smoke or the heat detector, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted to test. So I went ahead and posted on my Instagram uh, asking some of my viewers who follow, follow me on Instagram what I should test. And uh, let's see, comments. Fire alarm guy 114 commented smoke detector first. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So today we're going to set off the smoke detector, which is this one, via match. Here we go. Oops. All right, it is time to reset everything. Okay, we can go ahead and reset this pull station. Resets just like a simplex T-bar. All right, this one resets with a hex key. This pull station is extremely easy to reset, by the way. And the smoke detector should reset on its own, so we don't have to worry about that. And last but not least, once every individual device is reset, we can go ahead and reset from the panel. And to finish out this test today, I think we're going to go ahead and test one significant device. One of the significant devices could include the nurse call system, the emergency alert system, the reset switch, or the tornado pole station. So in this test, I think we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the nurse call system, or the medical alert. So I'm sure most of you are very familiar of how the system works, but if you're not, let me explain it for you. So in buildings where they have to worry about people's health conditions, they have certain protection systems in place to make sure everyone stays healthy. So for instance, if you accidentally slip in a bathroom, one of these pull cords might be there, and all you'd have to do is pull the cord, and help would come. In this case, when I pull the cord, or just pull it, the panel will go into alarm saying medical alert, and the cord or light next to the EST alert genesis 
will turn on. So to demonstrate this system today, I think I'm going to pull the one to the far right. Here we go. And since this is not a fire alarm and codes are different, all you have to do to reset this is push it back up. You don't need a fancy key or anything. All right, everybody, that was this month's system tests. And hey, I haven't even tested the full system. That's how big it is. So you'll have to stay tuned to next month's test where you'll get to see even more devices tested. And yes, from test to test, I will try and swap out some of the devices that you've already seen so you can see some new stuff. All right, everybody, that is the end of the video. I sure hope you've enjoyed this system test. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.